ETC, we start with one over chart. You want to see how we can look for trade. First of all, if we refer to our analysis, we have been looking for price to drop. And if we refer to my last analysis, we mentioned if we want to look for trade, we have to get the correction. And this is what we get. As we can see, the price couldn't break the previous low, but almost there. That's why we mentioned we can look for divergence. And beside that, we mentioned we want to see whether the price can drop to 60 or not. Okay, but anyway, we mentioned if we get any reversal, we can look for buy, and this is what we get as a sharp move correction. Okay, but first we move to 15 minute. We want to see what we have based on 15 minute. Based on 15 minute, there was no trade setup, and right now we're looking at the one hour chart. That's mean from now, if we get any trade setup for buy, we will take it. This is what we have been looking for. The only thing says we get this sharp move. Okay, that's mean from now, we wait another a few hours if this one turned to a deeper correction. If we get any trade setup for buy, we will take it. But the only things we need to know, if we're looking for buy, we need to see the continuation as a sharp move and we need to see the breakout of the previous stop. Because if the price continue as a corrective move, in the bigger picture, we can look for the flat. Because if we consider this move, we want to see this is the, the, the move is going to give us a reversal. Whether this, the only question is whether we can put this one as a one move or it can tend to more complex. That's mean we get the flat as a first correction last. All right, for sure if the price reverse here, it was a drop, it still will be within the, I mean, we will have the divergence. Anyway, we move to higher time frame. We wanna see how we have been looking for the chart. If we move to daily chart, all right. Because in daily chart, we mentioned we wanna see whether this one we can consider as a correction in relative to this for reversal or not okay but the only thing is we want to this one the last one turns to a deeper move if i move to forward chart it will be more clear all right because we mentioned we want to see this that's why we put the price as a 60. we mentioned we, the best thing is the price can drop to the 60 because if the this one turned to a deeper move and the break the previous low which is a 60 we can put the first second last then any reversal from there we can take the trade Okay, because if we put this one as the last move in relative to this and this correction, then we have only one sharp move down. We don't have a correction internally. That's why if we get a, if there is a possibility we get the internal flat for one more drop. Okay, this is what I want to highlight here. That's why if we move to one over chart, if we want to look for trade for buy from here, we need to see the continuation as a sharp move and with the breakout of the previous stop. Because if the price start to correct from here, we should know about the bigger picture and flat. And the price can drop. That means still we will be within this down move, all right? That's why we have to wait for a longer time. We get the trade. We need to see the continuation as a sharp move. If we get the trade, we see the ways reversing, moving is really corrective. Either we take out the trade or move or stop loss to break even, all right? In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.